Before that, a German man named Hans Peter Etzold, of course he is, <laughs> launched a campaign for sheep uh, to arrange themselves in the shape of, and I don't, I think this is to raise awareness, but let's listen to him in his funny voice that shouldn't be allowed to be spoken anymore. I feel like we should have actually just uh, uh, converted them to Christianity and made them speak English after World War II. Well. For some reason, they still get to be a country. <laughs> So he tried to arrange sheep in the shape of a syringe. Here we go. Schafe sind Sympathieträger in der Bevölkerung und Überträger emotionaler Botschaften. Und so können vielleicht viele Menschen emotional erreicht werden, wenn die Logik und die wissenschaftliche Argumentation nicht hinhaut. Haben natürlich auch ein paar Impfgegner, haben einschlägige E-Mails geschrieben, aber damit muss muss man leben, nicht und. Oh, yeah, they're in the shape of the syringe of yes. the growth hormone that'll be put in their ass so that they can grow <laughs> exactly. wool faster. He gets some uh, geese to be Courtney Love's arm. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my God. just has some ducks to become a knife that was put in <laughs> Elliot Smith's chest. I just, I find, can we play that again from the, just from the beginning? Just because I want to, I'm going to fact check this really mm -hmm. quickly. All right. Schafe sind Sympathieträger in der Bevölkerung. Und Pause. No. For people who are listening in audio, he's, like, he's saying in German, he's like, the sheep are really popular with the people. <laughs> That's not even a true premise. <laughs> what people? In other words, the re someone said, hey, the, uh, Hans, why are, you making the, why are you making the sheep into a syringe? I don't understand. Is it the message about the vaccination, about the booster? Well, first we and foremost, over 100, <laughs> first and foremost, sheep, as you well know, are very popular. <laughs> They're this year's hoverboard. <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> but... A sheep in the shape of a syringe, that's pretty anti-vax if I've ever seen yeah, that. Yeah, you know, like, that's what I would think. Yes, you would assume. Is that what he's going for? Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. And then there's just one sheep dog who's dressed like Nigel Farage. You're like, oh, I get it. Oh, I see what he's doing. This, it, sense this backfired horribly. I don't know how, I didn't see how this could backfire considering sheep were so popular with the people. Can you imagine the stuff you could get done with your life if you have the ability to arrange sheep into a syringe? Like, how much time did that take? And uh, how drugged were those sheep? Oh, very. Oh, my God. All I had to do was give them food in the right place, and they would go to it. Then I'm worried, and I can sleep. I feel like I that guy... I shape syringes with my sheep. <laughs> I feel that guy likes to jab his sheep. Yes, yes. And I don't let my women drive. Hey, oh, YouTube. <laughs> can I, can I, may I take a moment? You may. may I take, mm -hmm. You have to drink from the toilet the entire time. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very distracting. It's not that distracting. But we're going to have people in mug clubs who are <laughs> asking us to head. sell a toilet mug. And the new we're toilet not going mug. What's yeah, wrong yeah. with that? We yeah. can put Louder with Crowder right on here. It's very apropos. You know what? <laughs> We can put the Ben Shapiro show. I'll down the call. Oh, coffee. there we go. Yeah, you know, let's do a Ben Shapiro show mug. Yes, yeah. Oh, but make it talk like a Pee Wee's Playhouse. Like, yeah. well, actually, the fact is, uh, your your stool is irregular, and uh, I would recommend sending you a lab. <laughs> you suck, toilety. <laughs> Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.